Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to morph two objects or two logos together inside of After Effects. Now, this is my second time recording this video. The first time the audio didn't record, so this is actually a first for me. But this video is going to be really cool because this is a nice little technique. So perhaps you have your logo and you want to morph it to a social media. Hey, follow us here or, you know, something cool like that. And it doesn't have to be with logos. And if you want to morph words to words, I did a tutorial a while ago on how to do that specifically. I'll go ahead and link that video in the description if you want to do that. And for extra sources of inspiration, or if you're looking to save time on producing high quality logo templates, go ahead and check our links in the video description. And it'll take you to Video Hive, which has over 11,000 After Effects logo templates pre-made and ready to go, meaning you just drag and drop a logo, change out the title, and be done within five minutes. And these are high quality templates, so you can save a ton of time and also produce high-end professional results and find exactly what you're looking for. If any of these examples interest you, those links are in the video description. And of course, there's plenty more where that comes from. So let's go ahead and jump in this video. Let's get started. So here we are in our tutorial composition and we're gonna focus on two files. One is Illustrator vector files and regular PNG files. And for this technique, I do suggest using Illustrator vector files, meaning that this logo was created inside Adobe Illustrator and is saved as a .ai file. Now, if you have a vector file inside of After Effects, all you have to do is right click the layer, click on create and click on create shapes from vector layer. And this is gonna create us a specific shape layer and that's what we need to have for this in order to work. Now, let's say you only have PNGs of your logo or object. Well, no problem. Here's a Twitter logo. I'll turn off uh, our outline real quick. So here's a Twitter logo. And all we have to do is if we have a nice clean logo like this, you know, transparent background, let's go up to layer, click on auto trace. And from here, you might have to tweak some of these settings a little bit like tolerance and make sure the channel is set to alpha. And the tolerance is going to be how precise you want the uh, mask to be. And the lower the number, the more points there's going to be. Uh, however, I find that to be a little bit more rigid. So I like the tolerance of one to two. You might need a trial and error this a few times, but I'm going to keep it at a tolerance of two. And you can kind of preview, see how the mask is going to work. And if I increase the tolerance, you know, it does change a little bit. You can see how the mask is not going to be on set. So, you know, finding a nice sweet spot, tolerance of two, I think works just fine. Click OK. And this is going to create a separate solid layer. And what I want to do here is open up our solid layer, go into the mask, go to mask one, click on mask path, and I want to copy it. All right. And from here, we can hide this layer. You can delete it. We don't need it. We'll bring this layer, just hide it away, hide it, you know, turn off the Twitter and we'll turn on our uh, shape layer, our blue layer here, our, you know, outline. We'll go into the contents, go into the group one. Then we see that we have two paths here and I need to explain this. So depending on the logo that you're going to use, you're going to have multiple paths, right? So here, my path one is my eye and path two is the body. So I do suggest renaming it so you can you know, keep track of everything. So we'll rename this real quick. We got eye and body. So what I like to do here is open up both these layers, eye and body layer, add a keyframe for the path and we'll move forward. So maybe we'll start this at a second. Actually, let's move these keyframes forward as well. Let's start these this animation out a second and we'll move forward to two seconds here and what we're going to do is we're going to paste in the twitter logo and there's the twitter logo it did jump up above there but no big deal so now we have the morph of our twitter logo to our or from our duck to our twitter logo now what i want to take a look at here specifically because the eye was such a small object and you probably will have some small objects as well you can see the eye also turns into the twitter logo which isn't good because you can see we're getting extra morphing here and that might not be a big deal for you but if you don't want to have that what i suggest doing right when it morphs into the small you know your logo here and before it jumps outside of your main body what i would do is add a keyframe for the path and i would delete the last keyframe and i would move forward to the end of the animation and i would just make sure that the path is selected grab one of the points here and just keep it in the body so this is a good way to hide the actual second morph so basically, we're just turning off the eye in a very easy way and hiding it in our body of our logo. So now all we have to do here is just reposition this in the middle of our composition. And, you know, no big deal. So what we'll do is go to the transform group one. And we'll come here to the first keyframe here. We'll add a keyframe for position. And we'll move forward to the next second. And we'll come here to the last keyframe. And we'll just try to center this up in the middle of our composition to bring up the title saves keep that as accurate as possible unfortunately you can't really use the align tab in this situation but 
uh, we can keep it very close so boom it turns right into the next logo just like that and that looks very clean and of course this is a shape layer you come here to the fill here at the top and you can change the color of it and let's say what we want to do is we have we want to have our initial logo you know our logo color of white and we want to change it to say the the social media color of twitter so what we can do here is go into the fill one here in our shape layer and we'll come here to the first keyframe we'll add a keyframe for color we'll move forward to the animation and what we'll do is we'll turn back on our Twitter PNG. We'll turn, we'll grab the eyedropper tool, select that blue, turn off the Twitter, and now it'll morph back into that color very easily. So this is essentially how you can morph objects. And if you want to spice this up a little bit more, what we can do very quickly in a couple of seconds is duplicate our shape layer here. Go up to Edit, Duplicate. Go here, come here to the bottom layer, offset it by just a few frames. Bring up U on your keyboard, and we'll color keyframes right here. We'll delete the last keyframe because we don't need a keyframe here. And we'll just come here to fill at the top, select a you know secondary color, and you can see if we move here, you can see that green there in the background. I would actually make it another color, like red, that's cool. And then once again, we can duplicate this layer, come here to the bottom, offset it, and change the fill of it. And we can change this fill to whatever color we want. So perhaps let's do orange, doesn't matter. And now boom, look at that. So now we have some nice colors in there. And of course, what I would make sure we do. Is come back to the path layers and make them all easy easy keyframes by hitting f9 on our keyboard forgot to do that originally but they'll make things a little bit more smooth in the animation and then when we're done here to make sure we turn on motion blur turn it on the top and we'll see what we have created so now we have a very nice more from a logo to a logo and it's very easy to do obviously and remember to check our links in the video description if you're looking for high quality after effects logo templates those links are in the video description and if you did enjoy this video be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel we post two to three after effects videos every single week depending on how lazy i want to be and of course hit us up on our social media networks like twitter and those links are in the video description and always be creating